guys, uh, kamusta po tayong lahat dyan? I hope uh, sa biyaya nating Panginoon, tayo pong lahat o ikaw kapatid na dito nanonood sa aking channel ano, ay nasa mabuting kalagayan po ano, sa biyaya po nating mahal na Panginoon. Ano? Anyway, ang um, marami po sa atin ay talagang gustong yumaman. Ano? Pero alam nyo ba na ang pagyaman po ay napaka uh, what you call it? Napakaraming ano, napakarami mong dapat na i-consider. Unang una, yung mga habits natin mga kapatid kasi uh, may mga habits talagang nakakaapekto ng malaki sa ating pagyaman. So ikaw kapatid, kung may mga habits ka po na alam mo pong uh, talagang sa gabal sa iyong pag-asenso ay uh, tigilan mo na. So para maliwanagan po tayo kapatid, may ilan po ako mga habits rito na sasabihin ano baka uh, ito rin po yung mga habits niyo. Una-una na rito kapatid itong Uh, condemning derecho. So, ikaw kapatid ay mahilig ka bang kumalaban or nagkukontina sa mga mayayaman? So, kung isa ka doon kapatid, itigil mo na yan. Kasi, ang mga mayayaman po ay talagang uh, pinaghirapan din po nila yan. No? Uh, marami po silang mga ginawa mga procedures yan, mga, mga, mga methods, mga, mga pinagdaanan ng mga paghihirap din po. Ano? para marating nila kung ano man ang kanilang narating ngayon sa buhay no? so example ko rito mga kapatid yung, yung about kay Jinky Pacquiao na nagpost ng kanya mga mamahaling gamit ano? for me personally uh, regardless man po kung ano yung ipost ng isang tao sa kahit saan man kung uh, social media wala po tayong pakialam dun kapatid kasi hindi po natin pera yun uh, at saka sila po ay, ay talaga namang may kaya mga bilyonarya, bilyonarya po sila so, yun na lang po uh, talagang ano na lang natin pabayaan po natin sila kasi hindi naman natin uh, kumbaga hindi naman natin pera ang ginastos nila eh, kasi sila talaga yung mayaman so, so isa po yan sa mga sa mga habits kapatid na dapat natin itigil ano, kung gusto po natin umasin so pangalwa, itong waking up late so kung tayo po ay uh, nagigising ng tanghali na ay talagang dapat baguhin na po natin kasi as far as I know kapag maaga po tayong gumig, gumigising sa umaga ay talagang uh, nakapakisip tayo ng maayos alam mo yon uh, nakapag meditate pa tayo nakapag prepare pa tayo kung tayo pa may mga asawa na, nagagawa na po natin nating mga trabaho sa bahay bago po tayo mag, uh, pumunta sa trabaho and then ito pong isang habit na ito talaga ay napakasama talaga para sa akin ano ah uh, kung saan alam ko po marami po mga Pilipinong na humaling rito ano tong mahilig ikaw kapatid mahilig ka ba sa mga get, get rich uh, quick scheme yung mga nagbibigay ng malaking porsyento pagdating ng isang buwan 30% 40% kapatid kung mahilig ka sa mga ganyang mga klaseng mga bagay eh, talaga hinto mo na kasi yan po ay scam so for me ako po isang financial educator kung para kapatid para maturuin kita para hindi ka po ma-scam ang payo ko po sa iyo ay matin ka po sa amin free online financial literacy seminar doon po ituturo po namin sa inyo ang lahat ano? and of course itong unhealthy lifestyle so kung tayo pa ay sakitin how can we attain ah, ah, tawag nito paano po natin maatin ang ang, ang ating ah, pangarap or ating ah, vision or ating ano na yumaman kung tayo pa ay sakitin kasi po ang ating health po is wealth na po so kapatid Uh, sana ay may matutunan ka sa video ito, sa, sa video ito no? Ngunit kung bago ka rito, sana ay huwag mong kalimutang mag-like, mag-comment, mag-subscribe At i-click ang notification button Sana ay uh, magbigay sa ito ng kunting araw So tara po, uh, para sa marami pong mga explanations, panoorin na po natin Becoming rich is the dream of everyone However, wealth generation is not gotten based on wishful thinking It is the product of the decisions you make These decisions are not limited to just forming habits. It also includes breaking from toxic habits. A lot of people focus on searching for the do's of the rich, but do not spend time to notice their don'ts. Hence, I want to show you seven habits you need to quit if you ever wish for your dream of becoming rich to become a reality. 1. Condemning the rich One primary reason why a lot of people are not wealthy is that they believe that all rich people rob the poor to become rich. This mindset has been tagged the zero-sum mindset. The belief that economic life is like table tennis where one person wins and the other loses. In his poem, Alphabet, 
The German poet Bertolt Brecht formulated the zero-sum mindset as follows. Said the poor man with a twitch, Were I not poor, you wouldn't be rich. This mentality is wrong and will only make you remain poor. For you to become rich, you have to stop the faulty thinking that someone else is responsible for your issues and begin to appreciate riches truly. You must see that people who became rich got there by hard work and sacrifices. A glance at the Forbes list of the world's billionaires reveals that almost everyone on the list became wealthy as an entrepreneur or because they continued businesses that their parents had founded and that took them to the next level. A majority of the world's top 10 wealthiest people are self-made entrepreneurs and they are also philanthropists who give to society. 2. Playing Safe Research had shown that 10% of individuals own 85%, while the bottom 90% fights for the remaining 15% of the total world's wealth. The difference between these top 10 individuals and the bottom 90% is the courage to step out and take opportunities. Safety is essential, but it is never a good strategy in the game of wealth. But a lot of people are of the habit of taking the safe train rather than taking risks. For you to be productive, it is needful for you to step out of your comfort zone, that place where you usually feel safe. An anonymous quote says, Life is a risk. And even not taking a risk is a risk. In fact, not taking risks is the highest risk you can make in life because it amounts for you not to genuinely live but just exist. Saving money is an excellent thing to do, but you can never be on the way to success. When you step out and explore and try out new and daring feats, then will riches come to you. 3. Waking Up Late A study carried out by author Thomas C. Curley on 177 self-made millionaires showed that about 50% of them wake up at least three hours before their work for the day begins. Early to rise is one habit that many successful people practice. However, they do not just wake up and start carrying out tasks, they take out time to think and refresh themselves. Waking up to meditate in the early hours of the morning is a strategy that productive individuals use in dealing with the inevitable challenges that they may encounter during the day. According to Corley's discovery, getting up at 5 in the morning to plan for the top 3 things you want to accomplish during your day allows you to have more control over your activities and life in general. Well, you got it. The step between you and greatness probably lies in your waking habits. Wake early. 4. Overspending Satisfying every craving and desire is not a thing for the rich. Everyone aspires to be wealthy. I mean, who does not want to ride in fancy cars, live in mansions, stop working and have many vacations and guilt-free shopping? But then, even wealthy individuals do not do all those and that is one way through which they amass their wealth. The self-made millionaires and billionaires had to learn and master certain things and one of them is the ability to restrain themselves from unnecessary spendings. No matter how much money you earn, you will always be miserable if you do not checkmate your expense. If you ever want to be rich, you must be sure of your wants and needs and be conscious of your spending habits. 5. Eating out often In the 2013 survey, US author Paul Sullivan and financial psychologist Dr. Brad Kluntz found out that the main difference between the wealthy and the average individual is that the wealthy person eats out 30% less and they save 30% more of their income for retirement or whatever they may need. Sullivan suggested that the reason for this seemingly funny decision is because they believe that the little money, if invested, can yield substantially. The rich people don't eat out not only because it saves money, but because they understand that freshly prepared homemade meals are better than junk and other outside food. For rich people, they consider their health as their wealth and so instead of eating junk and accumulating so much fat and cholesterol, they prefer to cook meals by themselves properly. 
6. Trying out every get-rich-quick scheme In today's world, many people prefer instant gratification to long-term rewards. This quest for immediate pleasures is the reason for the rise in Ponzi and other get-rich-quick schemes. Studies have shown that poor individuals are most likely to fall for these schemes. A rich person would never fall for this kind of system because they have educated themselves deeply on finance and business. Hence, they quickly notice red flags. The rich understand that amassing wealth is not an overnight thing. It takes time and process. They are willing to follow the process and its struggles. But the poor hates the process. So they are more prone to falling into the hands of fraud through get-rich-quick schemes. An interview podcast on nav.all summarized this point. If they are selling you some get-rich-quick scheme, whether it's crypto or whether it's an online business or seminar, they are just making money off you. It's not necessarily going to work for you. 7. Bad Hygiene This may sound strange. I bet you never thought that hygiene had anything to do with a person's financial situation. It may come as a shock, but the truth is that your health has a role to play in your present financial state. Throughout history, it has been recorded that the rich are mostly to wear neat clothing, uniquely white-colored clothes, and have elegant haircuts. Individuals who keep themselves and the environment clean are most likely to be rich. Rich people take hygiene very seriously. Some of them are even borderline germaphobes because they get irritated by dust, from their fingernails right to the clothes they wear and the place they stay. Research shows that the thoughts of the mind are more organized when the surrounding is orderly, and you are likely to feel more mentally relaxed to think well after a shower. Do you like ideas? Clean your room, take a warm bath, and think again. Many of the habits you portray today began from childhood and were taken into adulthood. Some of those habits may tend to stand in the way of your becoming wealthy, especially if you are not from a wealthy home. But the good news is that old habits can be broken and new habits formed.